Hey guys, um, welcome to this 4v4. Um, yeah, I tried to cast this game using Capture Edge. Um, it failed at some point, so I'm coming back to D to cast this. Uh, this was quite a nice game. So 4v4. So Vijay HM Shadow Master playing as Bulgarians uh, in the flank. On the other side is uh, Mr. Bob Aziz playing as Turks. Um, the two pockets who I am Maro playing as Goths and Lakadhara myself playing as Mongols um, and the opposing teams actually it's amazing all none of the none none of the sifs are matched up so I mean then there are no repeats so which is a really nice thing uh, uh, so if you look at them they are playing as Franks gray is the first flank against the Bulgarian flank um, blue is Indians uh, against uh, the Turks and uh, uh, green is Celts oops so green is Celts uh, the first pocket the second pocket teal is Mayans so, so Celts against Gods Mayans against Mongols so I think very very nice set of sieves I'm going to speed up a bit which is another thing I couldn't do in Capture Age um, because there's not a lot happening right now uh, and yeah like you can see I'm booming doing Mongol things Maro is booming as well so again nothing much happening if you look at the will count um, yeah and the strategy from our side is that Ashish goes fast temp as Turks um, and uh, me and Maro go fast castle. HM goes Vijay goes fast castle into uh, dropping crep posts. I just want to see Gray's fog of war. I think seems like Gray did a bit of scouting. it looks like auto scout okay nothing special yeah okay so so a lot of us uh, hit feudal age pretty quickly um, if you look at me yeah so I have clicked to castle age I'm one of the first to go up um, <laughs> look at name so so gray is called chili cheese fries <laughs> very trippy name and he's struggling to lure a boar and he's stolen a deal what I mean this is ridiculous yeah uh, I think what happened is he had his boar up against the wall and this is why people like Viper and the other players they delete the back wall um, because of shit like this so yeah, so he realized he uh, he got his boar now. It's pretty late. Okay, quick update on village accounts. So Aziz is 30 wills. He's on top. Uh, I'm at 25 wills because I'm going to Castle Age. Maro is 27. He should hit Castle Age soon. Um, yeah. And the opposition is all 29, 24, 29. They're all in feudal though. So which means the moment I and and who I am, we hit castle age, we can easily catch up. Okay, already uh, double town center is going down. Speeding things up. Okay, so uh, red has clicked up to castle age. Aziz. I want to go to Ashish's perspective for a second. Oh man, perfect. Look at his uh, look at his resources. He's perfectly set up to go fast him. Okay, monastery, siege workshop, beautiful. And his his scouting are ah, nice, nice, very good, ah, really good. Good job. 
Yeah. Yeah. So he has a bit of. Uh, so 23 minute imp, I think that's something to be really proud of. Okay, so meanwhile uh, Vijay HM has come out. Uh, he's dropping a, a crap post over here. Um, and so Gray has also come out. He's dropping a bunch of buildings on Vijay. Who doesn't have any other defense apart from this crap post. Um, unfortunately, this crep post is uh, so close to the gate, it it doesn't have murder holes, so he doesn't shoot the gate, he has to shoot a wall. Just fine. Okay, so meanwhile, Ashish is about to hit Imp. Um, perfect. And... Gray is getting out knights. I have absolutely nothing apart from economy. Mm. <laughs> okay, but I have enough to drop a castle soon. Maro has absolutely nothing apart from economy. Not even a barracks yet. I am okay. Same same blood. So <laughs> so the opposite pocket. No, oh, he already has a couple of uh, archery ranges. And why why why? waste time building a house here um, again I would have just dropped a come in drop a crepe post here already and then come out drop a crepe post here then once you have two or three crepe posts then the knights cannot come near you um, and now he has ram already and I think ram is a solid uh, defense against crepe post and uh, I would have loved to see a couple of Conning's being made here to take care of the rams, but okay. I think eventually HM will go for villager rush. Uh, yeah, so the villagers will take care of the rams. Uh, ah, this is perfect. The Turks get free Hassa, that's just awesome. And okay, this, there's only a plus one upgrade. Uh, hand cans not yet upgraded on blacksmith. Meanwhile, okay, HM's doubt crep post. Yeah, okay, I think this crep post will die. Uh, Teal is dropping a castle here. I don't know what. No, HM can't see that castle. Okay. HM's crap wash rest has, rush has failed. Uh, in meantime, Ashish has. Whoa, 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 stop speed. Yeah. So Ashish has come forward with hand cans. Uh, uh, the mangonel defense is good, man. That was a bad uh, trade. Um, so Ashish should just go f rush into the mangonel. Oh, beautiful. This is beautiful. Perfect. Kick ass. I mean, one of the best ma uh, micro I've seen in a while. I'm just surprised the elephant archers are dying to uh, the hand cans. Okay, the bombard went. Uh, okay, he should have gotten himself repaired. Okay, so blue repairing his castle. Meanwhile, nothing much happening here. It's just calm before the storm. Okay, so teal teal has a bunch of crossbows. I have a bunch of mangonels. Uh, yeah, mango die, not mangonels. Getting my second castle down. So basically, I'm on the way to imp. Teal is on the way to imp. Mara is on the way to imp. 
and the goth production has not yet started yeah so I'm getting all upgrades possible right now including drill which I think drill should have waited there is no point getting drill elite mangoda should have been the priority uh, but let's see okay the hand cans are now okay the bombard cannons are coming in <laughs> I think this repair and that damage is balancing itself uh, I think we need couple more bombard cannons coming out So I send my Mangoda, I kill a bunch of villagers who are mining outside for this guy. Uh, and I move forward to assist Ashish. However, HM starts to get pressurized from this side. So unfortunately, I will be forced to come back. But look at this, obsidian arrows. Obsidian arrows. And look at this, a ram starts to hit a wall. Uh, look at the speed of the ram speed of the obsidian arrows uh, I think the ram can give up uh, okay, okay HM that's a good crap post uh, but I don't know if it's in ta on time uh, he's trying to build a house wall but these villages are blocking it. Tough. Tough. No, so this. No, it's a bad quick wall. Ugh. I think this will get denied. Meanwhile, okay, this castle is out. Uh, this is a good push from Ashish. Oh, nice. Maro is coming with champions now. I tried to go in with my Mangodai just to kill the Mangonels uh, before I come back to assist Vijay. Because Vijay is in need of help right now uh, because this is too much to deal with uh, the crap post was denied at uh, unfortunate it's close to 98 percent complete uh, this is just too much two shots done I can just leave uh, okay I think This was good. That's a good. That's a good Madras Mangada entry could tapri escape. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I need to come back. Look at this obsidian arrows, thelping TCs. I need to come back and help HM because uh, this is crazy right now. Of course, imagine Blue's plight. He's getting 3v1. With Hussar, with hand cans, with bombard cannons, with champion, with Mangodai. I mean, <laughs> might as well GG at that spot. Okay. A lot of scorpions from Kelts, guy. Oh, this is good. Uh, I think Maro's champs will die now. Uh, meanwhile, I have to run back. Which is pretty fast what I'm trying to do. Uh, okay, I have fully upgraded Mangodai right now. Only thing I don't know if I have Parthian tactics, perhaps not yet. Um, I need two or three more castles, two more castles, I mean, to get good Mangodai production. But okay, let's see. 80 HP. To begin with, this is a good mass of Mangodai, which is tough to counter. Okay, the Mayans guy has Arbalest now, uh, which has more range than the Mangodai, so it's tough for me to deal with that. But at least he doesn't have chemistry. Uh, yeah, see, I had to forever chase him. 
is not a great fight for me, but at least I can defend and hold here for a for a while. Until uh, nice, look at the Huskals. Okay, until the Huskals clear this up, and uh, and Maro and Ashish can wipe Blue out of uh, this game. Oh, blue resign. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, then the next step is yeah for me to hold, which is tough uh, against these arbs. And I'm throwing away a lot of Mangodai, but it's fine. At least this is preventing these guys from coming into my base, and uh, that also prompts me to get fortified wall. So Vijay has escaped with uh, with some of his villages back to my base. Uh, come on, quick wall, dude. If you quick wall, you could have gotten this up. But again, or just send those villagers here, finish this off. Mm. But it is. It's quite brutal for HM. I don't envy his position. Um, <laughs> come on. Uh, this is OP. This Obsidian Arrows is just OP, man. This is just ridiculous. I mean, this is not palisade wall. This is stone wall. This is ridiculous. Ah, almost got it up. Imagine if this and that crepost had gone up. I think these guys would have left his base. Uh, so HM did his best. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's here? See, these guys can just go. I think they can just take this castle. Uh, but for the heavy score. Okay. Uh, this is good. Yeah. I think these these can take out these castles, three or two or three shots easily. Uh, meanwhile, I try to drop a castle in desperation. So also, and is it a doubt castle? I'm not sure. Again, I'm being two v one from teal and grey, but I try to hold on. Okay, this castle's going up. I think, but for Mangudai, this, I mean, that, that ram wouldn't, would have died. So another thing I realize is you can garrison Mangudai in your castle and the castle fire then will take out the ram faster. You see? Um, so, so the Mangudai bonus does apply through a castle as well. Uh, what a crazy match. Again, I tried to take out the trap using the Mangodai, but it's tough. Okay, so now Teal has a castle inside. Uh, HM has a lone villager, or two villagers in the corner. Uh, actually, will count. Vijay has eight villagers. <laughs> I have 112, Maro has 129, Aziz has 70, Blue has 14, so. And the others are 97, green is 97, teal and grey are 70s. Yeah, now I'm struggling to keep this castle up. I realize I should switch into Hassar um, because this is not going well so far. I mean, I I've done nothing more than keep the guy behind, but I've thrown a lot of units. My KD is crap, and they're all gold KD. It's not uh, yeah, it's not trash KD. So. Beautiful. I mean, the Turks is OP in this map. Uh, I think really well played by Ashish. Ok, 
Okay, now the light cav spam. You can see I have uh, some 100 light cav being queued up. Yeah, I can't lose more castles, man. So look, look at the drill. <laughs> the ram killed the arbalest. <laughs> Again, I'm tech switching uh, into into Hassar. So, so far, so good. Uh, beautiful. I think this now I able to hold on my ground. Okay, and then Maro arrives, so we can hold this base. Uh, next is to take this out uh, and push in on grey. So Green's forward is dead. He, he does have 28 heavy score. Okay, they don't have they don't have upgrades. He, he forgot to get siege engineers, I guess. Oh, the game bugs out. Look at this. And th this, I think, is also why when I tried to cast this in Capture Age, uh, some buildings went missing. So I think there were some bugs. Um, I think now this is reasonably fair trade because uh, I mean this is trash. I just stream in all my hussars. Yeah, and the uh, infantry from Mara will take out the castle. That's good. So I do lose all my siege workshops, uh, which is fine. But we have map control. We have absolutely good map control. So. Just speeding things up. Nice. 60 hussars. And the... Again, um, this... Like everything in AoE, uh, this comes to decision making. I know I was holding badly. Um, and I think this was the crucial switch which was needed. And... Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. And meanwhile, these, the green... I think Ashish tries to kill the scorpion using the uh, the bombard cannons. I think he should repair the bombard cannons, man. Uh, but I think the, the, the scorp guy is paining. Uh, nice. So I leave. So Jay can come back to his town center. Okay, and I'm making a siege ram uh, with drill. Whoa, 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 okay, now Grey has uh, Paladin, oh, Cavalier, okay. Okay, thanks, thank you, Maro. <laughs> Maro just had to take a U-turn and come back. Um, yeah, I know, Ashish has to hold, I think, there's nothing here. I don't think Green is bothering to push. He's just making scorpions and then hold, just staying there. Yeah, okay, so now I can move with my siege ram and hussar into grace base. Uh, fast the siege rams are. I think drill is still OP. I, I'm trying to raid also the the trade uh, from the from the enemy team but okay I don't realize this is there's a castle here but I just clicked a bunch of hussars towards trade forgot about them then I stream in a bunch of hussars into teal space uh, while attacking grey. This is this is a crazy part of the match. Um, the scorpions guy is doing nothing. I mean, yes, he has 50 scorpions, but he's doing jack shit. He's absolutely doing nothing. 
He's just like, what? He's just patrolling up and down. I mean, this guy needs to be in fights. He's not in any fight right now. So actually, he should be coming forward to help uh, Teal. Uh, okay, HM finally hits Imp. Uh, yeah. This is <laughs> in a way. I think this Hussar siege ram is also OP uh, for uh, for um, Mongols. I think this is better than I would even say partially better than uh, even Mongodai. I would say uh, because yeah, I mean Hussars are cheap. I can deal with uh, I can deal with Halbs. Even better would be if I could get. Uh, Mongols don't get halves, I guess. They only get pikemen, if I'm not wrong. Very quickly check that. Yeah. Otherwise, I mean, this would have been even sick, even more sick, if Mongols get halves. Yeah, no. This one or two paladins, they I I do lose a lot of a uh, lot of my rams, but yeah. But for the amount of damage I have dealt, it's nothing. Okay, so Ashish lost his castle. He has to go back. Okay, he's just creating more space for himself. Like I said, this Kels guy has 60 and 13. So 73. Oh, beautiful. He has now fully upgraded uh, Hussar with 7 Pierce armor, so that's good. Okay, so Maro is also pressuring Teal at the same time. Nice. So this. Oh, he doesn't have. He doesn't have ballistics. Maro doesn't have ballistics. Look at this. Uh, okay, so Grey has bailed his base. Okay, this needs to go, but I don't know what is... Okay, HM is taking care of it. Uh, okay, Maro has more champions. I didn't know gods don't get the second uh, armor upgrade. The Imperial Age armor upgrade. I didn't know that. Uh. Okay, so finally the oh finally the scorpions guy comes forward again he's doing nothing but at least that holds can he take the castle this is a stupid fight okay so Maro cannot deal with this no, this is brutal for this army. Oh, that's really brutal. Okay, so I move uh, move with my rams forward. Ensure that grey is completely wiped from here. Yeah, I know that these these archers cannot do anything to the ram. I'm not microing properly. I, I, again, if I played properly, I, I should have saved more ramps. But I did throw a lot of my army. So.
against oh scorpion guy lost oh on edges okay okay no wonder i i totally missed that okay ashish is supposed to drop a castle no okay green is running back okay teals forward is getting destroyed by my rams and gray is still making paladins out of okay this again i've streamed in more uh, hasar so it's it's just green and gray that's holding right now the green's gone back to his base oh nice Oh nice nice Ashish has taken care of a lot of green space it's just teal and we can 3v1 teal now 4v1 teal now uh, there's just so much idle military here which I should have pushed forward okay I start to try and hit teal I lost all my ram by the way Oh, that's a massive uh, army of uh, plumed archers, though. And where is Maro? Whoa, 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 whoa! Twelve one edges. Oof, brutal man. This is tough to deal with. Man, the kills. Okay, Maro would be pissed with that. He did lose a lot of his onages. He lo he lost all of his onages. By the way, but he has more. There is more. Where that came from? Okay. Seems like Ashish is also going manual defense. Okay, so green did manage to paint these guys a lot. I mean, to a point where they are not free enough to help me with teal. So, okay. It's amazing how many archers this guy has. I think the the onager should should be tulping these guys more. My second wave of third wave of siege ram coming in. Yeah, but I think I lose all of this again. Uh, again, if I had a mix of mango die in this, all the halts would have died. Uh, so mango die, hussar, and uh, rams. Actually, the pathing was bad over here uh, because there's no, there's just one one tile gap to go there, so so which led me to losing more of these ramps. Meanwhile, okay, green has lost all his scorpion, or not? Yeah, I think so. I mid, I missed that last bit of epic fight somehow. Okay, these are Ashish's dead hussar. Okay, so now I am perhaps ready to push out. So Teal is the only guy holding right now. A oh, HM with Conix, finally. I still don't know how these scorpions died. Hmm. I think they died to the onagers, but I think they eventually died to the onagers, if I'm not wrong. Okay, so Ashish coming forward. 
Nice. So pressuring teal from the other side. And I have now run out of resources. Chili cheese fries has resigned. Now it's just a matter of time. Ah, I wish these would come and take the plumes out. It's bad for the hand cans. Uh, this is brutal, man. This is brutal. Look at this. Okay, this may not be good for the plumes. Ah, Wadi. <laughs> come, come. Hassar. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Haskal. <laughs> plumes are running away. Plumes got shit scared. I think the Haskal just led to GG. Uh, <laughs> what a game. And I think it took a lot of pushing and perseverance. Okay, I was continuing to expand and switch to trade as well. But yeah, the siege ram push for this guy was good. The fast imp push for blue was good. Green, I think, was a 2v1 effort of Ashish and Maro along with uh, Onagers to, to kill his scorpion. So I'm, I'm surprised for, for all that green did nothing. The scorpions did help uh, hold in the end. Teal was the only guy left. Um, <laughs> I think Teal just GG'd looking at this. <laughs> looking at the Haskal. <laughs> Stats, eco wise, Maro of course way ahead. Uh, closely followed by me. Oh, I am the MVP apparently. But I'm sure my, uh, my KD is shit. I killed 500, I lost 547 and most of the 547 I lost I would say is gold units unlike Kamaro's case um, okay teal has most kills so teal teal's KD is way better than any of ours and that's because he wiped HM and he did hold against hold against me really well um, it was not an easy win we had to grind it out but um, I would say, yeah, it was a good game. So they did do like some minimal trading, not a lot. Um, and they did sling a bit. So green slung to teal, okay, no wonder. Um, fast imp, Ashish, 23 minutes, amazing stuff. Um, uh, then, uh, yeah, me and Maro 30 minutes, Teal 35 minutes, everyone else falls, I mean, followed us after that on the imp. Uh, eco wise, 137 wills for Maro. Now, of course, that's the Goths. I 126. Ashi is 100. Everyone else in the 70s. I mean, Vijay, uh, I think he totally died and had to reboom and he came back in the end. Um, chili cheese fries was really painful to Vijay. I think they too, we won Vijay, chili cheese fries and this teal Chinese guy. Um, yeah, but I think this was a really good game. And. Uh, Don't, I wouldn't say sieve victory. I mean, this this solid sieves on both sides. So I think this was like a very well matched up uh, Elos wise as well. Yeah, it's a crazy game. So many battles happening all over the place. Um, in the end, the GG was called because Haskals came in to kill the archers. <laughs> so GG.